Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Koda, and today I'm going to review all the brand new exotics that are coming in the Taken King. So let's get started. So the first thing we have here is called the Fabian Strategy, which is the class-specific exotic for the Titans. The perk it has on it is called Frontlines. This weapon has increased handling stability and rate of fire when enemies are close by. Next, we have the Ace of Spades, the class-specific exotic for the Hunter. The primary perk it has on it is called Maverick. Precision kills move one round from your ammo reserves into the magazine. Next, we have the Talalic, a class-specific exotic for the Warlock. The primary perk it has on this weapon is called Overflow. This weapon has better handling, rate of fire, and stability while the Wielder's Super is charged. Next up, we have the Telesto. It is a fusion rifle where fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed void blast. The primary perk on this weapon is called Harbringer Spark. Multi kills with this weapon spawn orbs for your allies. Next, we have the exotic hand cannon called the First Curse, and the primary perk is called the First Curse. Curse. Precision kills while aiming down strikes grant increased range and stability until the next reload. Next, we have the Boolean Gemini, aka the Vesta Dynasty 343, an exotic scout rifle that has the perks one way. Bonus agility on precision kills stacks up to three times, or another bonus armor or non-precision kills stacks up to three times. You get the pun there? One way or another? <laughs> oh no, that's lame. Next, we have the Jade Rabbit Scout Rifle that has two unique perks. Has Zen Moment, causing damage with this weapon increases its ability, and the Fate of All Fools. Chain body shots to gain bonus damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the magazine. Next, we have the exotic shotgun, the Chaperone. This weapon also has two new unique perks called the Road Burn. Precision kills briefly grant bonus handling, range, and precision damage with this weapon. And it also has its main perk, the Survivor. Three rapid precision kills while Born on the Road is active will return two rounds to the chamber. Next we have here is the exotic sniper rifle called the Hereafter. The two perks it has is called Perfectionist, magazine is refunded if all shots fired are precision kills, and Blinding Light. Precision kills with this weapon have the chance to cause a bright flash that can blind nearby enemies. And then we have the exotic swords. First, we have the Bolt Caster. The Bolt Caster has Arc Forge Guard, used to guard effective against solar and void attacks and less effective against arc attack. Then we have Tempered Light, increased armor when wielding the sword. Then we have Live by the Sword. Kills with the sword have a chance to grant orbs of light. We have the Sword of Thunder, used to shoot a beam of arc light from your sword, creating a lingering electrical storm. And we also have Warrior of Light, increased damage for your attack. Next, we have the Dark Drinker, a void sword. The perks that the sword has is called Void Forge Guard. Used to guard, effective against arc and solar attacks, and less effective against void attacks. Then we have Tempered Light, increased armor when wielding the sword. Then we have Die by the Sword, kills with the sword replenish grenade energy. Then we have Supermassive Vortex, used to unleash a spiral of void energy in all directions. And then Warrior of Light, increased damage for your attack. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Raze Lighter, the exotic Solar Sword. The Raze Lighter has Solar Forge Guard. It's used to guard effective against arc and void attacks, but less effective against solar attacks. Then we have tempered light, increased armor when wielding the sword. We have thrive by the sword, kills with the sword, grants super energy. Then we have phoenix uppercut, used to launch into a solar light uppercut. And then, last perk, Warrior of Light. Increased damage for your attack. These are all the brand new exotics that are coming in the Taken King as far as we know. There's also one more thing I want to show you guys. There's a picture right here on screen that there's a weapon with a knife on the front of it and it has the heart of the Black Garden inside the weapon. Well, if you guys take a look on screen here, you will see that this is a consumable that is an exotic. Now, is this the touch of malice? Is this what the Bungie developers were talking about? The touch of malice being the best weapon in the game. Touch of malice being the community's best weapon. We'll find out in the Taken King in the next couple of days. But anyway, guys, that is it. That is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a like down below. It helps me a lot. And also, if you're new here, want to hit the subscribe button for some more daily Taken King content. And as always, guys, I'm Koda, and I'll catch you guys next time.